All right, guys, day one in the books, wrapping it up here for the day. Just got communications left, which I've been putting off. Um, like I mentioned in the preface video to this, this push. And yeah, things really got real today. And it's just like the timing of everything has been so crazy with this business. And there's like, there's something beyond the surface level here. Like, this is my calling. Like, I just, I just feel it. Like, all these doubts and everything I was working through in my life and all the, not hopelessness, but hopelessness. Like, just feeling lost and not know, having any direction and everything I was spending my time and effort towards and everything I was discovering and the things I was looking into and the conclusions I was coming to and the self-realizations of my strengths and my personality and my desires and all these things really culminated into this, this business. And this idea just came at the right time and the universe gifted me this opportunity at the perfect time and everything since this business plan came into my consciousness ever since it arrived into my life everything that's happened since has only reinforced that and today was just another example of that so I was talking to my dad a couple hours ago and Basically, we've confirmed he wants to get rid of the marketing agency he's working with for his softwave business. And yeah, he wants to hire me for it. So I basically got my client. First client is as hot of a lead as it can be. I mean, technically a client is not a client until they've paid you, but it doesn't get any closer than this. So you guys won't believe when the starting date is. November 1st, of course, right? Beginning of the month. Just perfectly coincides with this 20 day push. October 31st being the last day of the push. Um, yeah. There's a clear path now of what, what I need to be doing uh, with my time. Best use of my time now is figuring out how to get him results and setting up everything I need to set up and getting the knowledge I need to get to be able to deliver the service. And my initial plan with this business, the original plan was to do this thing called contractor arbitrage, where I hire a contractor overseas for a low wage in comparison to an American wage. And then, you know, connect to the contractor, to the business, both have needs and desires. I'm the orchestrator, I'm connecting them. And as such, I'm the middleman who takes the, takes the price, um, not takes the price, takes the difference. So say pay a contractor 500 bucks, charge the, the business 1500 or 2000 and keep, keep the change. And eventually the plan was to eventually take those contractors and turn them into employees, but start with contractors who are paying, getting paid on per service basis. Now, um, I've got about 19 days until my first clients we start. So finding a high quality contractor in that time is not too likely. It's definitely possible. But at the same time, like, I still don't really know what I'm doing. So it's hard to find a high quality contractor when I don't know how to recognize high quality. So my plan for now is to deliver the service myself. And that will also allow me to learn more hands on about marketing agencies. I mean, it feels right to start doing some hands on stuff. I want to do contractors first. So I just kept as much room of uh, space in my schedule as much time as possible to scale. Scalability was number one. So 
at some point I'd like to still follow that path of outsourcing everything, just being the orchestrator, connecting clients to business or contractors, my employees, bundling it all up in a brand and a customer experience, high quality service delivery, customer experience. And yeah, but for now I'll be delivering the service myself. So there's another benefit to that, which is I keep all the profit and really I have no expenses besides my softwares. Those are expenses and those will be a couple hundred bucks a month. So other than my softwares, that 1500 comes into my pocket 100% which will definitely help me with living expenses because right now I'm spending, I haven't done a really clean budget, but I've estimated around five grand a month I'm spending. So at that rate, if I didn't have this client, my dad, 1500 a month coming up, if I didn't have that, I was already down to, I don't know, somewhere between probably three and four months before I was completely broke. And if I wasn't making a video on this the 20 day push and um, if I didn't like have this commitment today, like this was not planned, this just came, you know, it became real today. But yeah, I was planning to make a video maybe on like uh, going down with the ship like it felt like on the Titanic a little bit like we're going down and if we do I'm going with it like but I was ready to like, do that 1500 isn't going to change the world give me a maybe I don't know spread it out a few more months I <laughs> maybe one more month I guess I don't know one more month um but that's just the beginning because once I figure out something that works with this Softwave business and I've got the blueprint of this is how we do it, the next clients will come. I know that. we. I've got a network of family friends. My dad's got a network of all of his friends um, that have these Softwave businesses. There's no good marketing companies right now and they all want a good marketing company. So I find out the blueprint, I'm in more doors. So yeah, I guess my niche was originally planned to be chiropractic. Now I'm planning just soft way for now. We'll see how, where it takes me. But I like to follow the principle that I learned from Peter Thiel in zero to one, which is start small and monopolize and expand from there. Don't jump into a huge niche or don't try to do too many things at once. Monopolize one thing, one small thing first expand to similar products or services after that. So that's the plan, you know, hone down, become an expert, become the best of the best advertisers for Softwave. And yeah, um, I guess today, this morning, my top priority was setting up my profile funnel, which is my Facebook page. Uh, profile funnel is an outreach method in which you attract potential clients, prospects, potential leads to you rather than direct outreach where you're going out to them where some direct outreach examples are like cold call, cold email, cold DM, um, things of that nature. Those are, those are direct outreach where you're going to them. I want to create a profile funnel, which attracts clients to me. And that takes time. That's a slow burn. So it's important to start early. So yeah, I'm happy I got that set up. I got the, the initial plan. I know what I'm doing with it, what I need to do for the next month with it. Everything else is set up, profile set up. The basics are set up. Facebook golden. It's all set up and ready to go or it is it is functional as of now and then today i also blitz through phase four of ten in the course i'm taking called agency navigator which is a really big broad 
everything you need to know as an agency owner or forming an agency. Phase four was all about outreach, which typically is the most important task of an agency owner. It's where most of an agency owner's time goes. It's where the most productive hours are invested for an agency owner. Somewhere between 70 or 80% of a typical agency owner is spent, time spent on outreach. I'm in this very rare situation and unique situation where I've got my first client, which is the hardest one to get. That's where most of your outreach time is gonna be spent trying to get that first client. Cause then once you got a success, you've got a case study, you've got you know potential referrals, you've got a history, you've got a track record, a reputation, all these things come after the first client. I've already got the first client. So, and I've also got potentially many clients after that if I can deliver results for this first client. So instead of 70, 80% of my time being spent and outreach, I'm saying no. Outreach is not important for me at this stage. Um, I'm gonna put 10% of my time into it. The other 90% of my time, the vast majority of my time, is gonna be spent on client results, figuring out how to get the results, grow the business, get the leads in the door, successful advertising, successful marketing for Softwave, client results, 100%, 90 or 90% of the time. So that entails education. That also entails customer experience and, and communication. That's a minor part for now. And then, yeah, service delivery, a little bit of systems building, mostly service delivery though. And my outreach plan for that 10% of the time, you know, outreach can be direct, cold, direct, or indirect warm. Those are the two main outreach methods, broad, broad sweeping. I'm putting 0% of my time, making that bold decision to put zero of my time in direct, which is where most people spend most of their time for a while. No direct outreach for now. 100% of my outreach effort is going into that indirect, and I've already put in most of that time. Put in whatever, like three hours a day in that Facebook account. That's good to go. Now it's less than 10 minutes a day from here on out until the end of this push. So I've put in most of that time. The rest of the time now is client results. So going forward here, my top priority is to get through this course, get that broad understanding of how things fit together, what's the general framework of agencies, and then really hone in on service delivery, figure out how to deliver services. And I've got some really I feel unique and innovative ideas when it comes to that. I feel like I got this. I'm excited. Um, as far as the push goes, it was pretty successful today. There were a few times where like I in, indirectly or didn't mean to like check notifications, like accidentally scrolled somewhere. Um, I also had a discord call with two to my friends who are also in the agency world, building an agency and the chiropractic niche. So that's a really great way to network, or not network, but like cross pollinate ideas. So that's enjoyable to have that call. But with Discord is, I have to get on Discord. So I see notifications on Discord. Um, and then they wanted to see my YouTube channel. So I had to get on YouTube. Saw a little bit of that to send them my link. Um, but other than that, very clean day. Pretty to schedule, pretty clean cut. Uh, pretty easy today though. Had a college class for an hour and 15. Had that call for about an hour. Yeah, it doesn't leave that much time. Also, it was a gym day, so. Tomorrow will be a lot of, a lot of learning. Um, I expect my brain to be very slow by the end of the day. And You'll see that if I am, and I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow. But yeah, that's pretty much the recap of day one. Is there anything else I wanted to say? Yeah, I guess I kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of where I am starting out this push. Kind of already touched on that. 
I uh, just finished phase four up today, or I wasn't wasn't done with phase four, the videos, um, when I started this push. Didn't have my Facebook fully set up when I started this push. Um, LLC is getting filed with the state. Logo is in revision. We've had multiple stages. Getting very close to having the final product for logo and profile pictures. Um, softwares pretty much got my full stack they're not all set up but i've got the pretty much what an agency owner needs and other than that yeah that's where we're at um just gonna absolutely push here see how far we can take this got 19 days until first client and two of those days will be rest days so it's really like a, not necessarily a sprint, but like a 5K, 10K run, break, rest, 5, 10K, rest, 5, 10K. So day one, up six for the first 5, 10K. It's complete in the books. I'm gonna finish up some communications. Plan my day for tomorrow. Just the basic nightly routine. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.